Today is the 11th annual World Autism Awareness Day, and our CBS Broadcast Center is one of hundreds of thousands of landmarks and buildings worldwide lighting it up blue all month long for autism awareness. Now, this year's theme is Empowering Women and Girls with Autism. And there may be a possible breakthrough for combating autism. A new medication is in the works, and it's creating a lot of hope for parents and young patients. CBS 2's Elsa Ramon joins us live with details about the new research, Elsa. Yeah, it does give parents a lot of hope, Suzanne and Pat. One in 68 kids in the U.S. have some form of the developmental disorder. Currently, there haven't been any drugs to treat the core symptoms, but a first-of-its-kind study could change all of it. At all. 15 year old Marshall Scarpula is one of three children in his family with autism. His mother noticed some of the signs when he was just three years old. His speech was delayed, and then the school brought it to my attention, too. Now, researchers at Montefiore Medical Center are studying whether a first of its kind drug could make a difference for kids like Marshall. There aren't any approved treatments for what we think of as the core symptoms of autism. So, all of the social difficulties and the repetitive behaviors and the ability to function in everyday life. I'm like forgetting something, I would write myself a note. Marshall is part of a nationwide clinical trial which includes 300 kids and teens with high functioning autism. Stop. Researchers are testing if the drug Belavaptin can help autism symptoms by preventing a molecule thought to influence social behavior from binding to brain receptors. Previous research on adults shows symptoms improved. There would still be a need for uh, things like speech therapy or occupational therapy, educational interventions, behavioral interventions. Marshall's family doesn't know yet whether he received a placebo or the actual drug. I have this thing that helps me keep on task. But his mother says she has seen a change in his behavior. Hopefully it gets approved and everything goes through and we'll have a medicine for him. Uh -huh. A possible breakthrough for autism and a chance for a fuller life. Right now, researchers are enrolling high-functioning kids and teens for the study since they can better communicate about their symptoms, Pat and Suzanne, which is certainly important. They need yeah. to find out what's working and what's not. That's right. And that's why all of us... We're wearing blue That's today. That's right. <laughs> Repping the blue today. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Elsa.